This is why I tell you that if you have career, if you have fitness, if you have hobbies, that means nothing. Because there are guys out there who don't have any of that. And you're like, how did she go for him but not me? There's not a man alive who says to himself, I don't want beautiful women in my life. I've never come across one. What we want as men is beautiful women. That's what we want. We may see her walking down the street and we go, how can I get that girl? Or we fantasize about her. We may see her in a club and we fantasize about having her. We may see her in a magazine, on TV, in some situation, and go, fuck, I want somebody like that. Or we may even look at her and go, fuck, she's so gorgeous. And we're drawn to that. We're drawn to those women who have that beauty that's just a gift. But the one thing that a guy who is curious about women, how do I meet women, how do I approach beautiful women? The one thing that I can see that he never asks is just one simple question that's very important. Do beautiful women want me? Or would a beautiful woman date me? He never asks this question, never. Because everything is about attaining. Everything is about going after. All our energy as men is moving in a direction of, there's a woman, how do I get her? Yeah, I feel these things, how do I get over so that I get her? This is the direction we move in. Our whole search, our whole life, everything we do starts to encompass, how can I get beautiful women in my life? to the point where we'll even start to try to fix every other area besides ourselves. I mean, we think that we're fixing ourselves, but we're actually just fixing areas of our life that we feel is gonna be a funnel that's gonna bring beautiful women in. The first funnel that we believe is gonna bring beautiful women in our life is our career. We go after careers that put us in a certain position in society. Maybe we try to become a doctor, we try to do engineering, we try to become a lawyer. We try to do something that already has an important position. It already has some status. Think about what you think about when I say lawyer. Maybe you think about a liar or something like that, but think about the position of power. Think about doctor. Think about engineer. CEO. When I say things like this, you go, these men have a certain importance to them. A certain significance to them. And that's particularly being a society that grants and upholds and looks up to position of power. Us as men, we start to confuse that just because I'm going into these fields and they have a position of power, I'm going to be able to bring beautiful women in as, as well. Because that's really what we're sold. We're sold that you need to get your career together. If you want to get beautiful women in your life, you need to have your career together. Because that's what they want. They want a man who has his life together. And in many ways, when we think about have our life together, we think our career in place. Us being men who, masculine men who, of course, are drawn to going after, getting over fear,
power, clarity, these things that, and things that are associated with that. We want beautiful women in because we have this ranking. And it's a total, total misconception of what beautiful women want. Yes, you do have some women who, if you don't have your career together, they would just say you're not somebody they want to go for. And when, they, when, you, when we're really talking about career, we're actually just talking about financial stability. That's what you're really talking about. Anything that brings in finances where the girl can go, I have my life together. That's what we mean. And that's what I mean by have your career together. So if we shift it to money, because this is what I'm really talking about, when we feel like we have a lot of money, we feel like we're more suitable for beautiful women. This is how it's set up as, for men. This is how it's set up for you. If you're somebody who has money in your life, or you're making money, and you're making a lot of it, you actually feel more of a permission to even talk to beautiful women. You feel there's something more to me than the average guy. You know, I'm not just like the dude who's just sitting around and not doing anything with this life. I'm somebody who's went out, I've went to college, I've went to grad school, and now I have my degree. And I'm in a job that's highly ranked, something that's in a position of quote-unquote power, and this is going to be the reason why she's going to want me because I have my finances in place. This is a total misconception. Maybe you fed into it. Maybe you bought into it. You went, okay, I have this together and now I'm going to get the beautiful women. Because a lot of it is motivated by that. If you really look underneath a lot of things men do, it is motivated by the fact of trying to get beautiful women in your life. That's what it's motivated by. A lot of the things that we do in our life is simply motivated by that. So you being someone going from your position of quote unquote high rank, you're going, okay, I'm in a position where now I have my finances in place. I can actually just try to go for the beautiful girl. Because before, when you, had that, when you didn't have it in place, you wouldn't even try. But now that you do, you're more willing to try. And maybe through some sort of social circle, you see a girl. And, or maybe she works at your job, or maybe you, met her through, you can see that she's in your friend circle. You would actually be more okay to go for that girl. You will. You will be more okay. But the reason why I say it's a misconception is because once she comes in your life, she's going to find out who you are without the money. Guys are not thinking about this. They're like, I just want to, I want to make money where I can have my career in place, where if I bring a woman in, she knows that I'm stable. I go, great. A woman can know that you're stable and she can feel like, okay, good. I have a stable guy. But she doesn't care as much about who you are than your finances. She, don't, she cares more about who you are than what you make. She doesn't want to date your money. She wants to date you. She doesn't want to date your career. She wants to date the man who went after that. And guys, the reason why they have a bad misleading on this is simply because they go after and they go after and they go after and they think and they think that they're building certain skills inside of them that's going to allow them to be good with women. Because then they start to notice that this is not translating. I was able to go after and go after, but this is not translating to when I'm in front of a woman and dealing with what she's like in this mood, in this mood. And, and I just, the way I deal with moods is that I just cut it out or I, uh, I, I combat it with something that's very, very strong. And you try to use the same type of tactics with your women that you do with your business. It is a total misleading. It is. 
This is why I say that you try to fix your career because you believe that you're going to get beautiful women. But if, even some of the guys, some guys actually do because there's some women who just go for guys who have money and they're really beautiful. When that girl comes into their life, it's never as good as he thought because he's not as happy as he thought he was going to be. He's, it's never as good as that because when she comes in his life, She's not coming in as this beautiful, flowery, always type of girl. He, he's thinking that she's always going to be like that. Because he's only seeing surface deep. He doesn't really know what it's like to be with a beautiful woman or women in general and how to go to the deeper levels. He don't know that. He's, he, he's immature in his way of expressing himself even to women. He's become a master of talking to people in business and, and being able to do things in a very logical way. But when you're dealing with women, you move out of the logic plane and into emotion. It's a very different world. He is misled. You have been misled to believe that if I have these things in place, if I have my career in place and I have my money down, I'll be able to get them. And I go, great. Make sure you get your career down and you get a woman into your life. A woman you really, really want. Really. Because you'll feel some sort of permission when you actually talk to that girl through some sort of social circle situation. Or maybe you've been going out there and you have talked to women through meeting them on the street. And what you notice that it's a much different world than just business. It's so crazy when I meet a guy and he says, man, I don't get it. That's just... In business, man, I can talk to people. I can stand up for myself, but I can't do it when I'm in front of a girl. I can be clear when I'm in business, but I can't do it when I'm out there on the street talking to a girl. I don't know why I just fumble over my words. And what, the, what he doesn't know is it doesn't matter if you're clear when you're talking to other men in business. It doesn't matter because a lot of time it is unemotional. It doesn't matter. That, does, that will not translate. When you're talking to a woman, it will be different. You will find yourself not being clear sometimes. And then you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm a clear person. And then you, you start to have an identity crisis because you, you start to feel like, fuck, why can't I do this right now? And this is why many guys get frustrated or they become complacent and they don't want to, and they leave the community. They do all kinds of these things because they don't, they're having an identity crisis in the moment they're, because they're so used to being in a position of power and having clarity to do things that when it comes to women, they find themselves being like, I can't do this. You will be surprised at how many men who are so amazing in business are horrendous with women. Like really, really bad. Like don't, can't really speak to a woman. Can't look at her in the eyes and say things clearly. You will be surprised. You will. So trying to get together your life and your career as far as your career, it's not bad. I'm not telling you that this is a bad thing to do. In no way am I saying that. But what I am saying is that <clears throat> a beautiful woman, she wants to date the man who went after what he wanted in life. She's more attracted to the fact that you're going after something, that you went after something, and you're continuing on with that, than the fact of you have this amount, you have that amount, you have this amount. Your love for it is more important in her, to her than the money you are making right now because she's more interested in you. And if you are going for beautiful women who are not interested in you and are interested more in your money, then you're going for the wrong women. If you're a man who flaunts his money, then I don't want you to watch this video. I want you to leave because then you're going to be, you're going to be great for girls who go for money. You are. You're going to be great for them. You guys are a perfect match. But if you're here because you want to find out, me going for my career, was that, what, do, I ha, do I need to do that to get beautiful women? Was it necessary to get beautiful women? No. 
it was necessary for you to do what you love in life. That's what it was necessary for. A woman who wants to be a part of that, she's not looking at it as, okay, you did this and you did this and you have money, I love that. No, she's going, you went after that and you really enjoy it, I enjoy that about you. That's what she enjoys. But as men, we miss it because we go, she's enjoying the fact that I am someone who did this and this and this, and I have money now. No, because she doesn't want to have sex with the money. She doesn't want to make love to the money. She doesn't want to hug and kiss the money. She doesn't want to look in, into the money. She wants to look into you. The other thing that men definitely, definitely try to handle, and this is the cliche one, but this is so true, fitness. Guys do so much around fitness to get beautiful women. I think this is actually the, the, the highest one on the list. Fitness. A guy will go to the gym and be so motivated by the fact of getting women that it will be easy for him to go to the gym. If he believes it's going to get him more sex, he will go a lot. He will go so much. And with the muscles and everything, he starts to feel like there's a permission. Now I have a permission to go for those girls. Because when he was skinny, no way. He wouldn't do it. But the moment that he becomes bulky, the moment that he has muscles, he starts to look at guys who get beautiful women. He goes, yeah, that's, that's me. And, and he starts to wear things like that. And he starts to look like a guy who could get an attractive girl because he has muscles, because he looks the, like he looks the part. And a permission comes over him. Because yes, there will be some beautiful women who will go, I want that guy, I do want him. He looks like what I would have sex with or he looks like somebody I would date or somebody I did date. Because when women are up and coming, a lot of times they don't know that these guys are just looks. They don't know that. They were taught that that's the guy to go for, the hot guy. I remember I was dating this girl and She's 19 and she is really is into guys who look muscly and who look fit. And she really is like has a Achilles heel for him. She's so weak for them. And it was one of the reasons why she got with me. I wasn't like fucking buff and stuff, but it was because I was fit. It was one of the reasons it was. It was one of the reasons she was drawn to me. She saw me dancing. She saw me in the club dancing and I was fit. And then she was just like, I want that type of guy. And we, I remember we were in Barcelona and she like saw this dude and I was like, he has a great body. She's like, yeah, I know. And she's really, really drawn to it. But the same fucking type of guy that she was drawn to told the girl, the guys in her school that she was a slut for having sex with, her, with him. And she was, she was like, I was crying and I was so sad and this. And I was just thinking like, of course you were. Because you were only going for the fact that he looked like that. Of course you were. And she was like, I never met a person like you. You're so great. And it was because I was the, the person who looked the part, but was also the hot guy underneath, quote unquote, as a person. Just, just to let you know, yes, there's some women out there who go for that. But you, for you, but coming back to you, fitness in itself is not going to get the girl because Another girl was like, I'm just tired of guys who just say they just go to the gym. I was with another girl and she said that. She was like, I'm just tired of just talking to guys who just said they go to the gym. And of course, she was another girl who only go for guys and muscles, but she was saying the same thing, just in a different way. I wanted a guy who go to the gym, but I'm just tired of him just saying that's all he does. Or mainly, that's all the guys I meet, that's mainly what they say they do, they work out. She started to notice that, yes, I want a guy who's fit, but fuck, who is this guy that I thought was this? He is different. Many guys who look like that are so soft and insecure underneath. Like, not, I'm talking soft in a way of like, they're easily moved from their core. 
and insecure and very jealous. Like you will find it's so insane when you really look at it. I don't know if you know this, but many of the guys who you think are like, fuck, he's confident in this. He has just had so much permission because of the way he looks to talk to women that he looks like he's the confident fucking type that every guy should be. But if you cut him open energetically, if you look at him, you will find out he has blocks, he's insecure, he can't let go. You will find out all these many different things. Fitness will only give you more of a chance, of course, to be attractive. That's it. It can only do that to a woman. That is fucking all. And you can last longer in bed because you have been working out. Those things are the things that make fitness great to a woman. Yes, I like that he's in shape. I do. He looks sexy. That's great. But the misleading thing for us as men is to believe that that's what's going to get her. She's going to come into our life and then she's just going to enjoy us because we look like this and we have our career. Let's just put them both together and we have our career. She doesn't want your career. She doesn't want your fitness. There's many guys out there who are not fit and who are with beautiful women. Not of so many, but they are guys. She wants you. She wants to know who you are. She wants you to be able to express yourself, to be able to live your life. Not live a life, live your life. It means express that which you are. That's what she is drawn to. She came into the picture because she felt that, yes, you look attractive, but I want the man, the type of man who's going to care about the way he look. That's what she's drawn to. You care about the way you look. She cares about the way she looks. She wants somebody who, who cares about the way they look. She's drawn to that part. But that's it. Now that you have your career and your fitness and you're in front of the girl and you can't handle her and you can't do things that you thought that you should be able to do because you have the skills from the, the career and the, and the fitness and you have the drive to do the fitness, now you become frustrated. There's a frustration that comes over you. Or you don't even have the girl. This is the other thing. You, the girl never even came into your life. The beautiful women never even came in and you thought... At this point, I should have them. I mean, I did all the work, but they're still not here. And then more frustration comes over you because you, you bought into the story that I need to get my career in place. I need to get my fitness in place to have women, beautiful women. There's nothing wrong with your fitness. You can go with fitness, you can, but she wants you. She will go for a skinny guy. She will go for a guy who's a little bit, this is maybe, I don't just let me tell you this. There's a little bit overweight. I've seen overweight guys with beautiful women because they're just the way they are. They have an aura about them. They have charisma and things like this. And then we have the third thing. Hobbies. A guy goes, okay, I have my career. I have my fitness, and then now I'm gonna do hobbies because I need to fill my life so if she comes in, she's gonna enjoy it. This is more hitting home than the other two. This is more hitting home because now you start doing things that you really enjoy. This is more hitting home. It's getting closer to being able to, okay, let a woman see that there's things that you enjoy. This is, this is much, much closer than the other two. But, I wouldn't say hobbies as the third one for no reason. The hobbies sometimes become such a motivating factor that you will fill your life with so many hobbies that you believe that because I have all these three things, I'm just like the ultimate man. You'll start to believe this. We've been fed that the ultimate man, he has his career in place, his fitness, career meaning money, money stability and uh, the thing that he's going to be able to his purpose in this world fitness in place he looks great he cares about his fitness he eats well 
And then the third thing, he has hobbies, things that he loves to do. And a guy will be like, you know what? If I do this thing, a girl will find me more attractive. If I do this thing, a girl will find me more attractive. And he'll just, I'll do this thing and a girl will find me more attractive. He may not even consciously be doing this or consciously. And it will just tear him apart because I remember I was coaching a student and he was someone like this. He had his fitness. He was going to the gym, I think five or six days a week. He was making money and he filled his life with so much. But when I met him, I was like, man, you move a lot. And he said, I was like, you need to slow down your life. This is the way you're going to connect to yourself. You need to slow down because I don't, it doesn't matter. Look at you. you you've had all this, these things happen and you still are struggling with expressing yourself. You still are struggling with staying still. You're still struggling with all these different things underneath. He thought that if he just would fill his life totally, that at some point the beautiful women will, will come in, that he could just go out there enough. And even guys who start going out a lot, they go, if I just go out enough, if I just do enough, then I'll get beautiful women in my life, if I just do enough. And they feel and they feel and they feel, and then there's nothing there, <clears throat> like he did. And I just went, so you have to slow down, man. Your whole life is going so fast that you're not enjoying anything. And then he went, that's very true. I'm actually not enjoying anything. He had everything that he thought would be the thing to get women. He had everything, but he didn't have himself. He had everything, but not himself. This is why I tell you that if you have career, if you have fitness, if you have hobbies, that means nothing. Because there are guys out there who don't have any of that. Don't have any of that. But they love doing something and a girl was just like, boom, I love the fact that you love what you're doing. And he's somebody who can express himself. He's somebody who is charismatic. He's somebody who's able to be clear. And you're like, how did she go for him but not me? That's because he was more willing to express. He was more willing to do things underneath that you weren't willing to do. Of course, maybe he's not somebody working on himself consciously like, okay, I struggle with this and I need to work on this. No, maybe he's not somebody like that. But the fact that he has those other things that women really care about, a, woman, a beautiful girl will go, over him, will go to him over you. So I'll leave you with this. You can get all three together. You absolutely can. But if she won't date who's underneath that, those three won't matter. It just simply won't. So if you're gonna work on your fitness and work on what you're doing in life and, and, and work on your hobbies, great, do that. But you need to be willing to work on yourself. Who are you besides what you know? That's what's most important. Thank you for tuning in today for this uh, longer video, I would say. I'm coming to Berlin. April 7th. The tickets will be available on Monday. I have a seminar that's coming up April 7th. If you are in the Netherlands, if you're in Berlin, any of the surrounding countries, like I said, not London because I'm going to come to London after that, this is the chance to come see me. Only 20 people can come. Only 20. That's all I'm allowing. Only 20 people can come. You'll see why on Monday. There will be a link in the description box, not in this video, but on my Monday's video. So be looking forward to that. Share this with anybody who you feel, you know, this will help to understand that beautiful women want to date them and not what they do. Subscribe, because this is the way you're going to be able to follow me. I have a free Meet the Bedroom series. Everything from 
you know, what, how do I approach her, Tony, to, you know, how do I get her upstairs? Everything from that to the end. It's in the description box. Click the link and it'll take you there. You put in your email and you'll get that free. And in the meantime, like I always say, who you are is valuable for that what you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you on Monday.